Okay, so for this um, stage right now, we're going to use burnt umber, ultramarine violet, and titanium buff. So this is the part where grass is meets the water here. And I'm using a round brush and it doesn't really have to be perfectly done. Just a nice separation. It's just a bit dark here. So if I want to darken my uh, my uh, burnt umber, I'm using ultramarine violet in it. And that's working very well. I guess we can do the steps too. If you have the steps in there. Room for the steps. I haven't drawn them in, but I think we'll be okay. Oh, you just can you you can do them just with the with the brush, just the way yeah. it is. You know, you don't have to do anything really. It's really easy. And uh, just a couple of I'm using the same colors, um, burnt umber, ultramarine violet, and a bit of titanium buff. Okay, so I'm gonna take a bit of ultramarine, um, titanium buff and just highlight a bit. Just a tiny bit of glazing my color right now and reflection in the water. Those steps, not much, just a couple. Okay, so um, you see here on the monitor, you can see that it's just kind of a tiny little bit lighter than what I have. Um, but that's okay. And what I'm doing is I'm doing a movement where what the, the grass is hanging over on here on the edge, the grass is hanging over. And it's kind of dabbing, a bit of dabbing in the back. Is that, is that just um, yellow yellow, and green, or is there another color in there too? There's, there's ultramarine violet in it. Oh, yes, because when I look on it down. Neon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ultramarine violet will, will tone it down. Makes it more earthy.
back one, the one in the back, just go straight. We don't have to do any texture in there. I'm going to darken using sap green and ultramarine violet um, this area here a bit in the corner. That's good. When you see what you're seeing on the monitor is a lot, lot lighter than what I have here. Let's do the other side. So I'm seeing a nice kind of darker green in here. So I'm going to make sure that I don't go over that with the highlights. Okay, let's see if we can do this uh, plant right here. Add a bit of uh, 
ultramarine violet and my green, just to change a bit. Okay, excellent. Let's take a bit of yellow, add yellow to my green, just to highlight a bit, certain. Right, I lost some of the depth in here, so I'm gonna put it back. Oh, here we go. Okay, now that the green is, uh, the paint is dry, I can see that it's drying a little bit darker than I would like it to be. So even, uh, especially here. So I'm gonna just add some cadmium yellow light and and if it's if you find that it's too strong just add a touch of uh, ultramarine violet so for the the strong highlight if i want a really strong highlight like over here i would like to see a bit more i'm just using the titanium buff with my greens and yellows and that's working very well That's good. I'm gonna take ultramarine violet, put some sap green in it. And I'm gonna work on these ones in the back, actually. Let's add a bit of yellow in there so we can see it. Now sap green, ultramarine violet in the bottom part. So I'm keeping the bottom part of the hedge near the windows a bit darker.
little bit more highlights on top of this hedge, just here. That's good. Okay, so we're gonna highlight a bit the trims around those windows. I'm gonna use, I'm using uh, burnt umber white and a touch of uh, ultramarine violet. Round brush, small round brush. And I'm just gonna, doesn't have to be perfect, just a tiny bit of highlight. We're gonna highlight from down here, down here, not all the way up because the awning will be casting a shadow over that door, part of that door. I usually try not to take the highlight all the way up on the side panels, side trims, it's just from here down. Right, so let's just let's do this one here. Just that one here, a um, tiny bit right there. Same with that one. Very simple. Okay. For the awning, I'm gonna use cerulean blue. A bit, I did a wash of first, a wash of burnt umber, um, white and uh, ultramarine violet. So a wash, so it's not very uh, thick. And I'm gonna take cerulean blue, black and white. to make um, a toned down light blue. 
And I'm just going to put very simple. Stripes. Bring them down. Right, and highlight them again, just a bit more white into that blue. And it needs to be subtle. We don't want it to look too strong. I'm just highlighting the top part. So the bottom part where it droops down, it stays dark. Okay. I guess for the house, we're good. Um, For the chairs and the table, I forgot to send you the drawing. Hmm. All right, that's okay. I'll just do that and then I'll take a picture and send it. It's better. Okay, so the chairs, I'm going to use um, off white, at least for so we can see them. Oh, this is not easy. It's a tiny miniature thing. Tiny, yes. Yeah, that's okay. Whatever we get is fine. Let's take a bit of uh, ultramarine violet in this burnt umber and uh, white for the umbrella. A bit more. Burnt Umber, Ultramarine Violet. All right. You look good. Yep. We can sit there. Yeah. I would love to sit in a place like this. 
I'm going to highlight the uh, awning a bit in between. So I'm going to use the same um, burnt umber, white, and a bit of ultramarine violet in there. And I'm just going to highlight in between here. All right, that's good. Burnt sienna. I got some burnt sienna. Let's try. Oh, it definitely needs some titanium buff, maybe. Touch of titanium buff. Oh yeah, there we go. That's a nice pot. Titanium buff and burnt sienna. Okay. Leal, could I show you my wall? Sure. I'm just going to stop recording. Oh, wait, oh. So I'm going to use, uh, I'm using black. Black and um, kind of a glaze. So it's very, uh, it's watery. It's like ink. And this is a round brush, brand new, small one. And I'm just gonna put some iron work in here. Like very simple, it doesn't have to be intricate. And uh, we'll just kind of cripple in here. Maybe I put too much, too many of them. Just a hint. Doesn't have to be perfect. That's it. All right. 
I have here ultramarine violet, burnt umber, black, a bit of black. So round brush, wipe my brush. And I'm just gonna put a couple of tree trunks in here. I'm mixing now sap green, cadmium yellow light. I'll put in it a touch of ultramarine violet or any any color there to, to make it more earthy. A bit of white as well. Wipe my brush. And just kind of put a bit of a highlight in here where the chairs are. Highlight those. And go back, add no, more sap green in here. Give this area just a bit of texture in here. Looks like green foliage happening in here. Let's take a bit of um, burnt sienna and add some. It's it. There's a lot of green in here, so I'm adding cup of dabs of burnt sienna. Um, so to break that green, because it's so much. You can use yellow ochre as well. <laughs> 